I have a cool one here today. This is from Mini Soparu. I've done many reviews for them, different products. This one here is specifically designed for an iPhone. What it is here, I guess you could also use it for a uh, Android. So you can see here, ooh, compatible systems. What this basically is, is it is a magnetic USB enclosure. So it's magnetized, obviously. It's gonna be 10 gigabit per second transfer speed. So that's about a thousand megabytes a second of actual. Looks like you can do up to two terabytes. Uh, this one here takes 2230, which I don't think they even make above two right now. So that's fine. Okay, so we get the box there, a little USB-C connector. I guess to get the data off, plug it into your thing. A little booklet. Just basically gonna tell you what you want to do with it. A little uh, thermal pad for just a little guy there. And there it is, cute little guy. All metal, metal top, metal bottom. Is this metal too? Yeah, it is. So the whole thing is metal. Very cute little thing. Looks nice. Look at that. I've actually had this for a few days, um, but I was waiting on a 2230 because I actually didn't have one. Okay, looks pretty good. How big is this thing? 256, so that should be fine. So a little thermal pad on there, keep it nice and cool. I wonder if that'll touch. Ideally, I would want this to touch so that it can produce, uh, get the heat off of the actual um, device. That's quick. Okay, looking nice. Okay, now you can of course use this with Windows. You could use it with Mac, you could use it with whatever. So I'm gonna format it properly. Um, I'm going to use it with my phone. So I'm going to go like that there. Uh, this should be pretty straightforward, but I'm going to just make sure it's formatted. This is a brand new SSD that I just got off of eBay, to be honest. So I'm just going to format it real quick. I'll show you guys how to do it, actually. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is just plug this into your computer. We'll go here. I'm not seeing it here, so we may have to initialize it. And if this is the case, if you're in Windows at least, you can go in here and partition. And there it is, not initialized. You just go new simple volume. Uh, if it's for an iPhone, you're going to want to make sure that it's formatted to XFAT. Just going to name it exactly what it is. Sure. Go like that there. Perform a quick format. Okay, so that's basically done there, and you can just eject it. So for an iPhone, you basically just go like that, turn it on. Uh, if you, I'll come in here, I'll show you. Go like that to files you can see on my phone there's nothing there's just my cloud my phone itself recently deleted plug this in there it is boom empty drive right so now what I can do is I can move things over so let's say I'm just offloading this video here right I can just go like that there export ex unmodified files tell it where I want it to go I can go in here I can create a new folder if I want but I can just save it there Okay, so now I have a folder on this little guy here, and it's actually on there. Playing off of the NVMe. Very cool. Now, uh, we should also be able to do recording off of this directly onto the device. So I'm going to go like that there. All right, you can see that. ProRes HDR. It's going to say I can do a maximum of 18 minutes at 4K. Let's go 10. So HD 60 Pro HDR, 73 minutes. That's recording onto the external device. If I pop this out, give it a second there, 12 minutes, right? So it's going to uh, give me 12 minutes on my phone. My phone must be very full right now. You can see here I'm just offloading a bunch of videos that I recorded recently from my phone. I'm just putting them onto this little guy here. So I'm going to take these 17 videos here, come in here, make a new folder. Uh, this is an Alienware review, and 18, go like that, save that, and we just let it go over. So I'll just clean up my phone here, and then we'll get to some actual recording as well. Go like that there, got all those emails. Let's try the magnetic side of it. It may go through that case, but I'm going to try it without. Oop, and there we go. So it sticks to the uh, mag, mag lock, is that the term? Make lock, make stick. Yeah, so it's stuck to the little mag thing there. It's nice and firm too. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, it's 
nice. And just because it's flat, it bends nicely. Okay, so then now, I mean, this could easily fit into a, you know, a holding thing. You know, because I record, if I'm using a, if I'm using my iPhone for that, I actually put it like this often. Right, turn it around, tilt it down, right? So it's not gonna cause any issues there. It's on back, very nice. Uh, the nice thing about this as well is, I mean, partially you're gonna record directly onto your uh, SSD here. Uh, SSDs and flash storage only have a limited amount of writes. So if you write to your phone all the time, huge video files, constantly over and over again, eventually you will degrade the storage. It's just the way things are. Uh, they have a finite life to them. So here, I mean, not only are you going to record directly to an external media, but you're also going to protect the quality of your internal media. So you can see here, I can record directly to the phone if need be. I actually want to try ProRes because it actually tells you how long. So if we go ProRes HD, I actually put a lot of videos on here already. Uh, it's going to let us do, uh, yeah, 66 minutes like that onto this uh, NVMe, which is actually a lot, to be honest. For ProRes, ProRes is very high demand. You can see if I turn it off. <laughs> Look at how much difference that looks in HDR. Turn it back on. In some cases, ProRes HDR 1080p looks better than 4K. So we're going to look at that. Look at that. This is a mini Sobru thingy. It's a dock. I'm gonna have a review on it. You can watch it after. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be cool because I'm going to try the uh, desktop less thing again. So looking pretty nice. Uh, let's go back now. So we've recorded our footage here. Go files. Okay, let's go back. So we have our uh, NVMe here, 256. And DCIM, that's the camera. And there it is. Look at that. On the NVMe, direct recording. So I'm gonna have to record to my phone then move it over, it's going directly onto the NVMe. It's really nice because for one, I mean, you can record ProRes footage and not eat up all your storage in like a super short period of time. Uh, ProRes footage is great, but it's very, very high uh, file sizes. So it's really easy to burn through that. Yeah, perfect, easy. It skips a step, we'll put it that way. So rather than recording on my phone, then putting it onto a storage device, then putting it on here. I can just have it here. And because it's magnetized, I don't have to have some thing hanging off. Um, I think it's a really good product, actually. Like, actually, legitimately, very good product. It's easy. Open it up, stick an NVMe in, stick it to your phone, and you start recording. Of course, if you have an Android phone, you don't have to worry about this. For iPhones, you're going to need to have an iPhone 15 Pro, which allows direct storage like that recording. Uh, obviously, older devices from Apple don't have USB-C. We'll see more in the future, but that's the way it is for now. iPads, a lot of the more modern ones will allow this to work. You can stick it to your back of your iPad. Uh, or, you know, most Android phones are going to be USB-C, obviously, so unless they're really old. So you could use this with probably really any Android phone, realistically. And then, of course, you could use it with um, the more modern iPhone 15 Pros. And then, of course, in the future, they're going to stick with USB-C, so you'll be good. So, yeah, this thing's sweet. Um, so thanks to Mini Soper for selling this over. That when something does exactly what it's supposed to do, fills a perfect niche, is high quality, and doesn't cost an absolute fortune, then I consider it a perfect product.